Skoman DJ Wado. Mm-hmm. R Swift. Swizzy. WadoRadio.com, of course. Yes, sir. Swift, man, I gotta I gotta start here, man. I know we got a new mixtape coming out, man. The world, nope. the world hasn't been privy to this information yeah, yet. Nobody knows, but you just let them know. So yes, there is a mixtape coming out. Uh Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. That's Christmas Eve. What are we calling it? We calling it You're Welcome. You're welcome. You say I'm saying we because we working on this together. Yeah, we are we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we working on this together then. I guess it is what it That's is. That's what it is, man. Yeah. You uh, just found out just now. I just found out. Just found out. I am a spontaneous dude, That's so it's it, cool. Man. I'm, I'm That's it. with that. Yeah. That's it. But no, yeah. but 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 what are you thinking of doing with this project and all and all? Man, I'm just having fun, man. I, yeah. I, I'm just getting in the lab. I'm, I'm, I'm trying different things. Sure. I'm rocking over the beats that I love. I'm collaborating with artists that I didn't get to collaborate with for my album. Mm. So yeah, uh, yeah, we just, we just want to do a dope mixtape. I never did one. Yeah, you know that's true. I mean? So I want to just work on a dope mixtape and give it to the people. I, I was gonna say it's, it's interesting, man. Cause you're, you're such a lyricist. You're such a like you embody the culture of hip hop so much in just what you do. And I'm thinking you have never done a mixtape. How did how did I that haven't. happen all these years? Like how did that never I mean I've done enough music to be able to do Sure, like, you could do I've a done lost a, tapes. I've done enough features to we do We need a hard swift lost tapes. I, I, I wish I could. But <laughs> the problem is they're lost. They they, they really That's are lost. They, they have really, to be found. They really are lost. <laughs> but yeah, I mean I've always wanted to do one. Yeah. Um I actually came real close to doing a mixtape before, but somebody was, like highly this? discouraged it, and uh, so I sort of like. What period was this? This so was, we could know. I can know what space you was in. This was right before Anthem came out. I wanted to okay. drop a mixtape. Yep. Yep. I wanted to flood the streets, yep. but it was like, nah, that's too worldly, and you know, still. Being in my joint, I was like, uh, maybe it is. No, I, would, yeah. I just didn't do it. I ain't want to deal with you. the, you know. But now I'm just like, yo, well, you I'm were, killing you were, everything. You were an independent man, so you. I'm you independent, know, and I'm you and always Lord. gonna be independent. That's that's my lane. I got you because I like. I, I, as an independent artist, like you don't have to worry about what everybody thinks. Yeah. You do you really do what you want to do. Sure. And the people that love what you bring to the table, they're gonna love what you bring to the table. Yeah. So like Indy's the way for me. Like other artists can sort of go in that cookie cutter thing and be cool. But me, I have to be yeah. me. I have yeah. to be sporadic. You know yeah. what I mean? Now I gotta ask you about this man because um you are have just been honored at the Kingdom Choice Awards this past year, man. Like, like that feeling, man. Like, well, you know, I've 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 done this for years. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I've I've put a lot of work in. Yeah. I've put a lot of years in, and I often feel like you know when people always come to me and they say, "Hey, man, I." I think you're so underrated, man. I think like you're underappreciated. Yeah. And I normally be like, nah, man, whatever, whatever. But like, I really do feel sometimes like yeah. I'm underappreciated. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, so so for anybody to take the time out to honor me in any kind of way is 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 dope, man. Yeah. It's real humbling. Like, I've never been honored for anything. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, and of course, we all aspire to, you know, you want to win a Grammy one yeah, day, yeah, you want to yeah, win. Yeah, but, yeah. like, it's something special about being honored by your peers. Yeah, and your community. You know community. what I'm saying? Yep. Like, and yep. like, these are my people. These are This is my community. And for them to say, yo, we appreciate you. Sure. Keep it moving. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's real big to me. You now, know what I mean? Now, I can't ask everybody this because everybody hasn't earned the right to answer this question. Okay. But... As you just mentioned, you've been doing this for a good minute. You've put in a lot of work. You've seen all the different shifts in this thing. How do you feel about our community right now? Uh, how do I think about it? I mean, I think the community still has a lot of maturing to do. Sure. Um, I think that we are still, 
like I think a lot of times the mentality of my way is the only way mm. or my philosophy yep. is the only philosophy is the only thing that makes sense. I think we still battle with that. I how think, do we how do we get out of that though? Because we've had that like we've like, had it for so long, twenty like, years. But you gotta understand, Cats was having the same argument in the Bible. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? So it's like I think as humans we're always gonna have a certain level of pride that we wrestle with okay like yo this is the way it should be done everybody like you we have this fantasy about being right about something sure, sure. like this is the way it's supposed to be done this is what bears fruit blah 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 and you know you have a hard time dealing with somebody else that might take a different approach a different journey. and i think that we need to sort of take a fall back get rid of our biases sure. and like acknowledge when somebody else has a a, a good motive yeah like yo this person has a, a, a pure heart before the lord yeah. this is their motive let them do what they do whether yeah. it's the way we would have done it or not yeah you know what i mean like yep. so i think the only way to get rid of that is is real humility mm. you know what i mean and not that false humility you know yeah. what I'm saying Like real deal humility Like I remember Before I got into music Full time I talked to a brother And he said Do you want to know When you're ready And I said Okay Tell me <laughs> and he said When you can come To the clu conclusion That it doesn't Have to be you To get it done Wow That's dope When you get to that Conclusion that says Lord, even if it's not me, sure. I will celebrate at the fact that it gets done. Then you're ready. Yeah. And so like that stuck with me. Like mm. you realize like, I don't have to be the dude. Sure. Like if God chooses to use me in that capacity, that's cool. You're good. But I don't have to be that guy. Yeah. In order for me to celebrate at the fact that it's going for. You know what I mean? One of the things that I always thought was dope about you is you always were able to move amongst anybody in the community. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was the dude on Cross Movement, but you were still making music for the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it, it was almost like you were almost willing to, I don't want to say accept just any old ministry philosophy, but you never, I, I never felt like you had the mentality of it's either my way or the highway. You right. know what I'm saying? I, and I don't. You know what I mean? Like, like I genuinely love people, man. Sure. And, and, you know, if you have the heart and the guts to take a stand for the Lord in this world, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm with you. I'm out here on the battlefield like you out here on the battlefield. Yeah. Like, yeah. We need to link arms, whether you use, you know, uh, this type of gun and I use that type sure. of gun. You know, at the end of the day, we are on the same yeah. army. We yeah. on the same team out yeah. here. And if yeah. you get hit, that affects me. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, like, I see cats like that. I see it like, yo, we need the Shylins. Absolutely. We need the Timothy Brindles. Yep. But we also need the cats like the Breaks. Yep. We also need the show barakas. Yep. We we like we need everybody on all every aspect. Ends, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I think that we need to see each other that way. Like, yo, yeah. this person is on we on the same team. Same team. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel now? Because it, it feels like there's been like a resurgence of lyricism and hip hop mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and I know I mean that's always been your thing. You know what right. I'm saying? Like you've always been known as a as a as a dope lyricist. That's your style. Um, I mean you kill it. Like how does how does that feel to kind of see that come back full circle? It feels um, good. And, and and you know with people now now wanting content. You know. You know it it feels good because I'm like. This is where I get down. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yo, this is this is my lane yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it feels good because for so long, you know what I mean, with the South cats doing their thing, and we, you know, we love all of our South brothers, but people will always make these comments like, you know, lyricism is overrated, and like try to downplay sure, lyricism. Sure, sure. And I'm like, nah, like, yeah, it's dope. So yeah. like to see the game pay attention. To, to lyrics like that's yeah. dope to me because i'm very 
lyric heavy and content heavy, so I thrive on that. Me and Bro were having this conversation at Legacy, and he said something that it shocked me, and I just, I just want to get your, your take on it. He said he feels like right now, as a lyricist, this is the best era for production because some of the beats are full, but it still leaves you space to do what you do. Right, right, right. Do you, do you, do you feel that way with like the, the current, I guess, yeah, just I, music I think sound? It's, I would say this, and I think this might allude to the same thing, sure. but like, I think that it's, it's a great time for lyricists to get mainstream attention. Mm. Um, when you have like more lyricists rhyming over mainstream beats, like yep. beats that can get played on radio and stuff like that. Yeah. So I think that it, it does leave it a little bit more open. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, you know, back in the day, like we talking about the 90s and all that. Like, if you was a lyricist, it was like you was an underground. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, you, you had, had the backpack the, on. You had the backpack on. I mean, you, you know. got the backpack on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you had the rhyme over the dark, yeah, yeah, yeah. the train yeah. tracks. You know, you, you had to raucous. be that. It was, yeah, you was raucous. It, it was like, <laughs> this, is, this is your little huddle. Yeah. Stay in there. Yeah. But now, like, you got, like, you know, you look at cats like Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? Jay like Coles, yeah. Yeah, Jay Coles and your Drakes, you know what I mean? Like, these are dudes that are on top of the mainstream that are bringing focus to lyrics. Yeah. So I think that it, it leaves a lot more space for us not to have to be in that little, the little huddle. underground huddle anymore. Yeah, that's you good. You know what I mean? That's so good. More people are paying attention. Yeah. DJ Wade or R. Swift. Yeah. You know what it is. On the way to radio show. Show us much more music, it's ministry. 